Really quick before we jump into this first recipe, I wanted to let you know that you can save $10 off any WAG meal plan using the code SAVE10. Click here using this link, choose your calorie level, and we'll give you the macros and over 100 meal ideas to try. I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to use cottage cheese as a protein source. First recipe I'm gonna share with you today in our cottage cheese series is a high protein cherry cheesecake smoothie, obviously made with cottage cheese. We're going to get a half cup of cottage cheese, which is about 110 grams. Just stick that right in the bottom of the blender. Then we're gonna add six ounces of any kind of milk. I am using whole milk today. And the reason I'm using six ounces is because I like my shakes to be a little thicker. So if you like thinner shakes, you could go with a whole cup and use eight ounces of that. Next, I'm gonna add frozen cherries. I like using frozen because it just gives a better consistency and makes the shake nice and cold. I'm going with 100 grams today. And because I'm using cherries, I'm gonna add in a little bit of almond extract because I really like how it brings out the flavor in that. So not very much, just like a quarter teaspoon. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of honey as a sweetener. I'm not gonna use too much, I'm gonna use eight grams of that. And then I'm going to add in some vanilla protein powder. Now you can actually make the smoothie without it, um, but if you wanted more protein, you could add the protein powder like I am today. I'm just doing 10 grams. Then you're gonna take that and you're gonna blend it on high. Whoops. After that, I'm going to add in my ice. I like to blend it up and get everything incorporated before I add the ice. I usually just do about half a jar worth. And then blend that on high again. I'm just realizing that my jar is probably not big enough, so I'm going to get a bigger one. There we go. Just so I can fit it all in there. straw in there. So this makes about 18 ounces of the smoothie. The next recipe I'm going to show you today is a very simple cottage cheese ranch dip and it only has two ingredients. I got this ranch seasoning blend from Trader Joe's but you can pick up a ranch seasoning packet from I think almost any store. Um, and then I'm, again I'm using the good culture cottage cheese because that's my favorite. So to start I got out my smaller blender for this one. I'm gonna take a half cup or 110 grams of the Good Culture cottage cheese and put that right into this little mixing container. And then I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of the ranch and then I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to add more. Next, I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to make sure that it thins out when I blend it. So this is about a half an ounce. You might need an ounce. You just have to feel it out and see. 
Get that lid on tight, give it a little shake, and then blend. All right, it looks pretty good. It might be a little thin, but we'll see. All right, so it is a little bit on the thin side, but it's perfect to use as a dressing, or you can dip carrots, veggies, anything you have on hand in it, and it works great. Now we're gonna head to something a little sweeter. I'm going to do a cottage cheese cookie dough that can be eaten with a spoon or used as a dip for things like apples. To start, we're going to do a cup of cottage cheese. So that's 220 grams. There, I'm going to add in the maple syrup. We're gonna do two tablespoons of that. So that's 30 grams. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. What I'm gonna do is blend those together. That way all of the wet ingredients are well incorporated. All right, then I'm gonna take that and add it to a mixing bowl. Probably have to get a little spoon or a spatula to get the stuff from the very bottom, but it's thin enough that most of it pours right out. All right, from here, I'm going to add a cup of almond flour. I measured this out earlier and it's 100 grams. Then I'm going to add in the protein powder. I'm just using this one that I found at the store. Any vanilla protein powder should work in this recipe. I haven't tried it with plant-based. It might be a little more grainy. Um, I am using a whey protein today and I'm gonna add in 20 grams of that. I like salt, so I'm just gonna add a pinch of sea salt. And then you're gonna stir that together. Now, my dough is a little bit on the runny side and I wanna make it a little bit thicker. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more protein powder to do that. So I'm gonna add eight more grams and start there. So now I'm gonna add in 45 grams of dark chocolate chips. These are the Enjoy Life, they're allergen friendly. I like those. They also make mini chocolate chips, so you could do that too, but any chocolate chip will work here. What I'm gonna do now is store this in the fridge so that it will thicken up a little bit. It shouldn't take too long, maybe 10 minutes or so. All right, let's see how it's doing. That's much better. Okay, so now that it's thickened up a bit, 
It's a really nice dip and I'm just gonna incorporate it so all the chocolate chips aren't at the bottom. But this is kind of what it looks like. Really nice consistency. We could probably add some more chocolate chips to the top just to make it look really nice, but um, yeah. So this is great. You can eat it just by the spoonful like that, or you can take apple slices and use it more as a dip, which is delicious. Again, it's just a really nice high protein snack. It's really easy to make, and it's just another way to use cottage cheese as a protein source.